Hey everybody, I'm Chris Keller. Welcome to another edition of Automation Under 3. Today we're talking about the Mer Impact 67 iLink Master. This guy is IP67 with an integrated web server, all your favorite protocols, and it's IIoT ready. Pick your flavor of network and connect it to your master. From there, it's a 5-pin M12 to your iLink device. This guy also has an L-coded M12 power cable. That brings 12 amps to this master block. That is crazy. You can also have four amps per port. Just think of all the things you can do with that. So as you can see, you have your IOLink ports there. You have your uh, power in and power out, your network ports, and I love the rotary switches that you can set the IP address manually. Well, let's get to it. First thing I'm gonna do is give this guy an IP address. I'm gonna use boot P in this case because I know that it comes from the factory DHCP. So I go ahead and give it an IP address, send that over, and uh, then I'm going to hit the web server from here. You should check out this web server, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, Mer does a good job with their web servers. Um, so admin and private is going to be your username and password. From there you can go in and set the IP address to whatever you want, make sure it's static. And then I'm going to cruise over to Mer shop and I'm going to go to the product page, grab uh, all the necessary things, EDS, AOI. Um, you'll see all the downloads and everything. There's a lot of good stuff there. Um, the manual will guide you through pretty much anything you need, whether that's ISDUs or uh, any number of things. So from there, we go to the PLC. I'm going to bring it in as an Ethernet module. Um, pretty simple to do. I think most people out there uh, know how to do this. Um, so yeah, put in the name, IP address. Then um, I'm going to cruise over to show you kind of the raw input data. Um, there in the controller tags. There we are. So there's raw input and output data. Uh, you can see that the AOI is in the top right hand corner there. That breaks out all the data to all the different ports. And then from there, we can actually map that into some of our other AOIs. Well, there it is in a nutshell. Hope you had fun. Um, as always, feel free to reach out. I know it's not fully comprehensive in three minutes, um, but I'll do my best to get back to you with uh, any possible answers that I might have for you. Um, thanks for joining me. We'll see you later.